very good morning to everyone. Uh, we would like to kickstart our virtual career day by Bimbing. Um, and thank you for joining us this morning. Um, we've got some really special events planned out uh, through the next two days. Um, and, and we are very fortunate to be able to get uh, some really important guests with us, um, not just this morning, but through the entire session. Um, for the time being, uh, maybe I could introduce who Bim Beng is, uh, what do we do, um, before we move into the next part of the agenda. Yeah, so let me just share some screens. All right. Can everybody see my screen? Thumbs up. Okay. All right. Um, so a quick uh, brief on what Bimbing is all about. A um, couple of months ago, um, through the pandemic, uh, there were many issues that were at stake. And one of it was the education issue or the the uncertainty of your career pathway issue, right? And, and we felt that there was uh, not many avenues that catered for people who were struggling in these uncertain times. Uh, there were students who just finished their SPM, that was delayed by four months, not sure whether they wanna start working, start studying, um, everything is delayed. How do they apply for their PTPTN loans? How do they apply for their public universities? So things like that. Um, there were also students who were studying first year, second year in their universities, and then uh, their parents had to, uh, they lost their job and um, they were unable to fund their education. So a lot of them were in a limbo. I wasn't sure, uh, do they now start working for a couple of years, save up some money to continue studying? Um, and a lot of them uh, were unsure of the, the type of avenues uh, out there that can help them financially, emotionally, you know, and the kind of career pathways out there that can help and guide. So that's how Bimbing was brought about. Uh, Bimbing was brought about through an initiative to providing um, ideas on uh, education and career pathways. And what we do is we bring experts in the industry to uh, come on board, sit with us. Um, and if somebody comes to us and says, um, uh, dear Bimbing, I need help with uh, X, Y, Z. We will pass them on to the experts of X, Y, Z. So we are more of like a platform middle ground to help uh, shape uh, this guidance uh, for all Malaysians. So as you can see in my slides, um, this is a group made up of young Malaysians. Um, all of us are below the, the age of 35. Um, and, and a lot of us are professionals. We have uh, a couple of teachers with us. We've got I think three, if not four teachers with us. Uh, we've got uh, uh, doctors, lawyers, uh, a bunch of corporate guys uh, who are part of this team, uh, which is amazing. We've also got a group of students. Um, uh, we've got a group of students who are in the university, as well as a group of students who are finishing their SPM. So uh, all encompassing, uh, we've got a good group of Malaysians. Um, and our main agenda is to provide this uh, education and career guidance opportunity for all, lah, regardless of your age, your race, your religion, your gender, or your disability. So um, we want to empower all youth, adults, and, and even we, we even try to, to help the retirees, uh, those who are retiring and, and they have no idea how to handle their next 20 years of life or 30 years of life. Uh, we are here to bimbing you through uh, that pathway. So we've got some key features. Uh, some educational guidance, some upskilling work, uh, scholarship support. Uh, we've got uh, in our team a good number of collaborators uh, who will help us uh, provide this support. PTPTN, for example, is one key uh, support provider that has been helping us through this, this entire year. Um, we've got a good number of networking opportunities as well. People with um, um, different experiences, different backgrounds who can hide, uh, help you, guide you. And we intend to do this through various uh, initiatives, lah, talk shows, uh, uh, projects, events. And hopefully when the COVID is done, uh, we aim to open an office. 
um, and provide some sort of a formal um, um, guidance center. Uh, that is the long term. So um, before this, we had a couple of events. Uh, one was post SPM series. There were people from uh, who just completed their SPM um, who needed some sort of an idea what to do next. And we had a string of about six different talks. Uh, so that's that's really good. Um, and we were able to, to impact almost 200 students from various backgrounds. Lah. Um, so that was a post-SPM series. But what we realized was uh, there needs to be a, a, a filling the gap between that SPM series and then the career, right? And that's why, that's why we decided to come up with this virtual opportunity to be able to show. This is our agenda for the next two days. Um, we will start with uh, this launch, obviously, and then we'll get into the medical sciences. We're getting a, a doctor, a pharmacist, and a physiotherapist to sit down and talk to us about the job. Um, so that's really interesting. Um, then we'll move into the next sciences, which is the research science. Um, we've got good speakers from the biotech, marine, and forensic sciences. And then we are, we are uh, gladly joined by uh, the CEO of um, Asia Pacific University to help us understand the revolution of future jobs, uh, industrial 4.0, big data, AI, things like that, followed by cyber sciences. Um, and then the last three would be engineering, design, and Sergi University will be joining us for the last uh, half an hour to uh, help uh, share with us some of the ideas um, moving forward. So um, this is the agenda for today. Uh, for tomorrow, this is a quick look for those who are interested to join us. I uh, will start in the morning with uh, the humanities, justice and social science. Uh, we're getting people from uh, United Nations uh, for Refugees, uh, UNHCR. We're getting some uh, humanitarians and some NGO experts to join us. Uh, then we have education. We've got a teacher who's from the international school, a teacher from our Sekolah Kebangsaan and a MUAT teacher to join us. And then um, PTPTN will be joining us. Uh, this is an official representative from the PTPTN office coming in and sharing with us um, the intro, intro of how to um, support uh, your degree uh, for PTPTN. Um, on top of that, um, she will also be opening up for questions so you can actually ask her uh, straight up uh, whatever support you need. Um, for entrepreneurship, uh, which is at 1.30, this is one of the big events. Um, a lot of us talk about uh, jobs as in the, the classic, uh, um, you know, doctor, lawyer, engineer type jobs. But um, with the entrepreneurship uh, session, you will realize all three, um, uh, all three speakers were uh, initially um, engineers who then uh, became entrepreneurs and, and have their own businesses and startups, which is a great avenue for us to, to uh, pick their brain on how they did it. And then finance, um, where we have some banking, fintech and accountancy background speakers. And then the big one, which is um, now catered for a slightly older group, the Shivening Scholarship. We are lucky to get the British Highcom Shivening Officer, who is uh, the former rep, to come in and speak with us about the scholarship and, and how to apply it and what uh, comes with the scholarship, what benefits you get with it. Uh, we also joined with an alumni uh, who is a Chevenier scholarship scholar from uh, two years ago, who will be sharing his experience. And then finally, the last two would be media studies, uh, where we have some journalists and, and mass comm guys come and share um, their experiences. And uh, Mr. Loga from um, uh, he's actually a Petronas uh, guy, but he's, he's an expert in uh, trying to give in ideas on how to access public universities in Malaysia. So this is uh, um, in the gist our agenda for the next two days. Um, without further ado, I would like to introduce um, uh, the Gerakan Belia Sir Punjabi Malaysia President, Mr. Gurpit Singh, who has uh, helped us uh, bring all this together and put this into uh, the national stage. Uh, Gurpit, um, Passing the floor to you. Uh, we are running a little bit out, uh, uh, low on time. So what we'll do is I'll keep it very simple. 
as I was growing up um, and going into the working world, uh, actually just finishing my SPM, thinking what do I do with my life? I already from a young age knew I wanted to be a judge. So at, at 13 years old, I already planned that I was going to be a judge. I want to sit in the courtroom and I want to be a judge. And as I went on and I finished my SPM, I knew I wanted to do law. I finished my law degree and I realized actually I did not want to be a lawyer. And the reason why this happened to me is because I did know the pathway to be a judge has to be through, the, through law. And what I realized through a lot of time and a lot of experiences and a lot of talking to different people, I realized that my passion was justice. My best passion was not the law, but was justice. And so because I wanted justice, because I wanted fairness in the equality in the world, I went out and became humanitarian. Uh, so I think this kind of events will set the stage for students like me to know exactly what a career brings you. So I may be a, a Form 5 student thinking I want to be a judge, but after listening to the panelists today, I will know actually, actually what it takes to be a certain thing in the career field. So it's not about this time, because studying is one thing and then going into the field is another thing. So with that, um, I just want to say that this is a, a brilliant effort from the team, who is a branch of education and career branch. They are, they are a branch from us. We are the body and they are a branch. And so uh, we, we want to make it very clear that we are like the tree and they are the fruits. Yeah, And people enjoy the fruits, but without the tree, there would not be a, a fruit. Um, so I want to just touch a little bit about what GBSM is. GBSM is a, is a two-pronged organization, one looking into our community, into the Punjabi community and into our needs, and one more is to bring the Punjabi community and our, our voice into the national stage. And the, the main player that helps us do that is Majlis Balia Malaysia. They are our main affiliates. So Majlis Balia Malaysia has given us the voice, as a youth body has given us the voice to bring our our, our interests, our problems, our issues to the national stage. Uh, not for, yeah, so, so there, is, there is two. One is us looking outside and one is us looking inside. So I will talk a little bit about us looking outside, which is reaching out to the other communities in Malaysia. And we have a very, very important slogan that we carry in GBSM, which is tak kenal, maka tak cinta. If you don't know your neighbors and your peers, how do you, how can you love them? Yeah. So. Uh, with that, I want to pass my time very quickly to uh, my, my, my vice president, who is Sarabjit Kaur, just talk a little bit about what, do, what does GBSM do for our community itself. Yeah. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Sarabjit. So GBSM's projects such as like ICR, Bimbing, Dukom, Chance Parupano, um, they all aim to contribute to the betterment of society, like Rupi said earlier. And some of our projects like Dukong, Bimbing, and Chawans Parupano are catered to everyone, regardless of the background. Um, but we do have one, which is iShare. It is a digital literacy project by our young leaders, um, which is focused on developing a tax savvy Sikh community in Malaysia, regardless of their age, starting from the most basic and day-to-day -day applications and to more complex ones. Uh, so we hope to reach out to the wider community through our wide range of stakeholders to ensure our projects reaches out to as many people possible in Malaysia. And simultaneously, these projects are able to also empower our team members also as they take on various leadership roles uh, during the planning and execution of these projects. We have seen our leaders from ages as young as 14 step up to make contributions. And we hope that these experiences will positively um, uh, uh, will be valuable to them as um, we all embark actually on our professional journeys and also in molding us to becoming more holistic individuals. Uh, time management, project planning, leadership skills, and also taking accountability. These are all some very essential skills uh, and values that will positively contribute in our de development, as well as in uh, making us a value add to any team that we are a part of moving forward. To anyone who would be interested in giving themselves a chance, do join us. And we hope that your experience with us will be a pleasant one. That's all. Thank you. All right. 
All right, thank you. Thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Gurpit Singh and, and, and Ms. Sarabjit Kaur for uh, encompassing what GBSM is all about. Uh, without further ado, uh, I would like to uh, give the space to our Majlis Belia Malaysia President, uh, Encik Zufri uh, Joha, who has been uh, an integral part of uh, GBSM and Bimbing, who has been helping us uh, chat a lot of things and, and um, he's a very good partner. As you can see, uh, Majlis Belia Malaysia is a partner for our event. So, uh, Encik Zufri, the floor is yours. Baik, terima kasih. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera, salam paduan, selamat pagi uh, Belia Malaysia. Terima kasih kepada saudara pengacara majlis, saudara Guprit selaku Presiden Gerakan Belia Super Jambi Malaysia. Seterusnya rakan-rakan, tuan-tuan dan puan-puan sekalian. Um, pertama sekali saya nak ucapkan terima kasih. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to officiate this uh, important program uh, today on uh, virtual career day and uh, ini merupakan satu program yang penting di mana kita melihat uh, ini merupakan salah satu daripada tiga uh, perkara utama yang selalu menjadi permintaan dan juga menjadi aspirasi belia Malaysia bukan saja belia Malaysia tetapi belia di seluruh uh, dunia uh, kalau kita semak indeks belia Malaysia yang uh, mengukur tahap kesejahteraan belia Malaysia uh, kita melihat sentiasa saja Tiga uh, isu utama yang bermain dalam kalangan generasi muda adalah isu berkaitan dengan pekerjaan dan kerjaya. Ha, di situ ada beza di antara pekerjaan dan kerjaya. Dan kita mahu anak muda mereka mempunyai kerjaya. Maknanya pekerjaan mereka mempunyai misi dan misi yang besar dalam kehidupan mereka bukan sahaja untuk uh, menyara diri sendiri, bukan sahaja untuk uh, memperkembangkan uh, tahap profes profes uh, profesionalisme Uh, diri sendiri tetapi juga untuk menyumbang kepada ekonomi negara. Uh, sebab itu saudara-saudara sekalian, uh, anak muda merupakan entiti terpenting dalam sesebuah negara. Uh, the greatest asset in uh, in one country is the youth. Maknanya uh, aset yang paling berharga dalam sesebuah negara adalah anak muda. Anak muda memainkan sekurang-kurangnya tiga peranan. Ya, yeah, tiga agents. Uh, of course they become an agent of change. Mereka menjadi agent kepada perubahan dan tiga ejen ini adalah yang pertama adalah ejen politik. Anak muda mempunyai satu undi dan mereka ini menentukan masa depan negara dengan memilih siapakah pemimpin yang mereka mahu. Jadi itu yang pertama, anak muda ataupun belia sebagai ejen politik iaitu mereka mempunyai satu undi dan kita tahu bahawa dalam setiap pilihan raya anak muda merupakan the change maker. Uh, menjadi kelompok penentu kepada masa depan negara dengan memilih uh, pemimpin yang mereka mahu. Yang keduanya, anak muda merupakan ejen sosial. Ya, yeah, Anak muda merupakan ejen sosial dan perpaduan. Mereka lah yang menentukan sejauh mana kestabilan dan perpaduan dalam sesebuah negara. Yeah, itu peranan yang kedua. Anak muda mainkan uh, sebagai uh, social agent ataupun ejen sosial dan perpaduan. Ya, uh, masa depan perpaduan, keharmonian dan kerukunan dalam sesebuah negara terletak kepada tangan anak muda. Dan yang ketiga yang terkait dengan virtual career day to days adalah anak muda sebagai ejen ekonomi. Ya, uh, anak muda memainkan peranan yang penting untuk membentuk kekuatan ekonomi negara. Uh, kita mahukan uh, negara Malaysia ini diisi dan dijana ekonominya oleh anak-anak muda yang kalau boleh kita mahukan anak muda yang mempunyai ya kemahiran yang tinggi high skill workers kita memerlukan pekerja-pekerja uh, yang mempunyai kemahiran tinggi expatriates uh, ataupun professional-professional uh, yang menyumbang kepada ekonomi negara dan apabila mereka berjaya mereka investing back to the society mereka bukan saja berjaya untuk diri sendiri tetapi mereka berjaya untuk mengembalikan semula kejayaan mereka itu dengan membimbing lebih banyak lagi anak muda rakyat Malaysia untuk menjadi warga negara yang berjaya. Ya, sebab itu apa yang dibuat oleh bimbing, apa yang dibuat oleh gerakan Belia Sepunjabi dan didokong oleh Angkatan Belia Islam Malaysia dan Majlis Belia Malaysia adalah mereka ini adalah orang-orang yang sempurna berjaya tetapi mereka ada uh, duty and responsibility towards the community and the youth. Mereka memulangkan balik kejayaan mereka itu Uh, ilmu mereka itu, kemahiran mereka itu untuk develop more young people 
to be a great people ya yeah, untuk uh, membimbing uh, unleash the potential of the young people menyelahkan bakat potensi anak muda menjadi seperti mereka bahkan lebih hebat daripada mereka sebab itulah uh, official bidding uh, gerakan dia sepuh jabi abim dan juga majlis dia Malaysia kita support program ini adalah untuk kita develop more young people to be an agent of economy uh, menjadi agent perubah ekonomi untuk memacu ekonomi negara supaya kita pastikan Malaysia menjadi sebuah negara yang makmur sebuah negara yang stabil sebuah negara yang sejahtera Malaysia juga menjadi the leading countries in the world in term of leadership in term of economy in term of social in term of unity so masa depan negara terletak kepada tangan anak muda dan di Malaysia kita ada lebih kurang more or less we have around approximately 14 million 14 as 14 juta anak muda di Malaysia yang menentukan masa depan negara dari segi politik, dari segi sosial, dari segi ekonomi dan dari segi kerjaya. Sebab itu saya sarankan kepada saudara-saudari sekalian dengar dulu penerangan taklimat pada hari ini. Seperti kata Guprit tadi, mungkin kita punya we have a very limited information and knowledge towards certain career. Ya, kita ada very limited vision, information and knowledge towards certain career. So uh, today's virtual carry day is to expose uh, uh, all of you to the uh, uh, variety of career uh, yang boleh dipilih yang suit dengan jiwa dan juga uh, dengan uh, pilihan anda. Jadi saya lihat uh, dalam pengisian yang dibentangkan seperti tadi ada banyak choices, ada banyak pilihan yang boleh dibuat oleh rakan-rakan semua. Ya, yeah, jadi buat pilihan yang baik. Kalau boleh ambil yang uh, yang kena dengan jiwa. Saya ambil degree dalam bidang undang-undang. Uh, saya dapati bahawa bidang undang-undang menarik tapi tidaklah uh, terlalu sesuai dengan jiwa saya. Sebab itu bila master, saya tukar. Saya switch a little bit towards uh, community and youth work. Ya, yeah, Saya punya uh, master dalam bidang community dan kerja belia dan saya mendapat uh, Shavering Scholarship. Ya, yeah, uh, Dan uh, menarik bila ada slot uh, Shavering Scholarship yang juga salah satu menjadi agenda kepada Virtual Career Day bagaimana uh, uh, Shavering ini dia memilih uh, talented and bright young people uh, memilih ya peserta-peserta uh, pelajar-pelajar yang mempunyai quality leadership dan mempunyai uh, bright future yang boleh uh, memacu kepada kemajuan negara jadi saudara saudara sekalian Ya, penting untuk kita memilih kerjaya, memilih uh, pekerjaan yang sesuai dengan jiwa kita dan penting untuk ada niat, put uh, in, an intention in your heart that with this career, you want to investing back to the society, you want to develop the nation. Um, penting untuk anda memilih kerjaya dengan niat untuk anda menyumbang balik kepada masa depan negara, untuk anda build up a nation building, untuk anda membina semula uh, negara kita menjadi semula negara yang hebat dengan setiap uh, contribution sumbangan yang telah uh, yang telah dan akan uh, disumbang oleh anda semua. Sebab itu penting juga sebelum untuk anda mendapat satu kerjaya, anda mendapat uh, memilih uh, institusi pendidikan, anda memilih bidang yang baik. Ya, memilih uh, pendidikan yang baik untuk menjadi warga negara yang efektif, warga negara yang efisien, warga negara yang uh, yang sejahtera ada dua komponen penting untuk dipenuhi. Ini menurut Dr Anwar Ahmad daripada tokoh pendidik daripada Universiti Kebangsaan Malaysia beliau menyebutkan bahawa ya rakyat Malaysia beliau Malaysia memerlukan dua two ingredient to be an effective uh, citizen. Itu yang pertama mempunyai kualiti kesihatan yang baik. Ya kita mungkin sekarang ini dilanda dengan COVID-19. Ya ha, jadi saya mengharapkan uh, para belia anak-anak uh, muda, uh, our youngsters untuk menjaga kesihatan anda dan uh, kita mempunyai uh, sistem kesihatan yang baik uh, cuma COVID ini menyebabkan kita berada dalam sedikit chaos yang keduanya untuk menjadi uh, to be an effective uh, citizen mesti ada quality education ataupun uh, pendidikan yang berkualiti eh? jadi uh, penting untuk kita, anak muda seperti anda memilih uh, pendidikan yang berkualiti Uh, untuk men, mem, mem, untuk mendapatkan uh, kerjaya yang baik yang akhirnya end resultnya adalah outcome-nya adalah untuk anda menyumbang kepada pembangunan negara. 
penting saya banyak kali tekankan bahawa kerjaya anda adalah bukan untuk diri anda semata-mata bukan untuk keluarga anda semata-mata penting kita ada ultimate goal kita our big mission and vision is to investing back to the society and we want to build up our country menjadi sebuah negara yang hebat jadi saudara-saudara sekalian akhir saya nak sebutkan bahawa uh, majlis dia Malaysia memang kita support program-program pembinaan kerjaya career guidance kita memang support program-program berkaitan dengan pendidikan kerana Majlis Pilihan Malaysia sebagaimana GBSM dan juga APIM, kita merupakan an informal educators. Kita merupakan uh, pendidik informal. Guru, pensyarah, mereka merupakan formal educators in school and university and uh, TVET institution. We are an informal educators. We want to educate more young people. Kita nak bantu formal educators untuk uh, lebih banyak lagi anak-anak muda kita menjadi orang yang hebat, mendapat kerjaya yang hebat dan yang penting mereka sekali lagi mereka investing back to the society. So, saya banyak kali ulang bahawa kerjaya anda, ya peranan anda apabila berjaya adalah untuk menyumbang balik kepada negara, kepada masyarakat dan membentuk sebuah negara yang hebat. Jadi saudara-saudara sekalian, memang di peringkat MPM merupakan badan induk belia kita ada lebih kurang 2 juta ahli termasuk gerakan belia sepeda gerak, gerakan belia sepeda punjab Malaysia dan juga akatan belia dan banyak lagi uh, pesatuan-pesatuan belia pelbagai kaum termasuk Sabah Sarawak orang asli belia OKU Persatuan Belia Industri Kreatif Majlis Belia Tahu dan so on so kita bergabung di bawah satu payung untuk uh, membentuk kepimpinan anak muda untuk membentuk uh, semangat kesukarelawan anak muda untuk membentuk pendidikan anak muda untuk membentuk perantarabangsaan anak muda dan juga uh, untuk membentuk sikap dan nilai uh, anak-anak muda. Sebab itu kita uh, very much supportive towards this kind of program, Virtual Career Day. Kita support 100% dan in the long term, we hope that we can uh, collaborate together between official bimbing, uh, bimbing official and then uh, ABIM, GBSM and others youth uh, organisation So we uh, kita akan dapat membawa satu perubahan besar kepada negara. Currently kita pun tengah hari ini pun ada program uh, kerjaya dalam bidang uh, industri ang angkasa lepas dan juga aero angkasa bersama dengan kelab remaja udara Malaysia. So ada banyak pilihan uh, kerjaya kerjaya yang ada di luar sana. So anak muda please explore. You must have a quality of exploration. Mesti ada semangat self inquiry, exploration to explore more new things in your life. Dari segi knowledge, information, kemahiran, banyakkan lagi soal budaya ilmu, banyakkan membaca, banyakkan pergi ke conference, conference seminar yang enriching your knowledge dan juga equip yourself with various soft skills seperti kemahiran bercakap, kemahiran menulis kemahiran menguasai lebih daripada 3-4 bahasa dan uh, kemudian kemahiran uh, banyak lagi kemahiran coding dan perbagai lagi yang penting untuk anak-anak muda survive uh, dalam buka world iaitu uh, dalam keadaan dunia yang serba uncertain, unpredictable so you must equip yourself with knowledge with certain kind of soft skill so that you can survive uh, you can have a uh, quality of agility uh, to survive in a very uncertain world jadi um, saya mengucapkan tanya uh, dan syabas kepada official bimbing. Bimbing official ke official bimbing? Bimbing official eh? Official bimbing. It's of bimbing tapi bimbing. official bimbing dia punya uh, social media. Okay, okay. Bimbing dan juga gerakan belia sekejap ini uh, dan juga Abim uh, untuk terus uh, kekal uh, membimbing anak-anak muda Malaysia. Jadi saya harapkan Uh, adik-adik yang berminat untuk menyertai kita bukan saja mencari uh, bidang kerjaya yang baik, mencari pendidikan yang baik anda juga sebagaimana saya ulang balik bahawa anda kena menyumbang kepada masyarakat bila sudah berjaya ataupun sewaktu belajar atau sewaktu belajar pun sudah boleh menyumbang kepada uh, masyarakat dengan menyertai persatuan-persatuan belia yang ada seperti gerakan belia sepul jabi seperti Akatan Belia Islam Malaysia, kita ada Hindu Youth Organization So we have Malaysian Indian Youth Council, we have Persatuan Belia Buddhist, Persatuan Belia Methodist, Majlis Belia Sabah, Sarawak, Kelantan, Terengganu, you can join. Even you can join NBM, Majlis Belia Malaysia as 
umbrella body for all the youth organization in Malaysia. So we have many things to offer, activities, leadership program, uh, entrepreneurship program, uh, educational program, and so on. Uh, uh, that you can, yes, book our world. Uh, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous uh, situation that we have to face right now. So, saya nak mengucapkan tanya sekali lagi kepada bimbing, kepada gerakan majlisik, kepada abim dan juga majlis di Malaysia atas satu program yang begitu baik dan saya harap anak-anak muda boleh grab the opportunities uh, untuk uh, menjadi seorang yang berjaya and once again, to investing back to your society. Uh, dengan itu, saya segala sukacitanya merasmikan uh, virtual career day uh, pada hari ini dengan mendoakan kejayaan dan kesinambungan program ini pada masa depan. Uh, terima kasih. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan selamat uh, bersemina. Terima kasih Encik Jufri. I think uh, that was a very comprehensive, very nicely put um, leadership message for all youth out there. Uh, some of the things that we picked up was um, uh, number one, you need quality, of course quality kesihatan lah, that's number one. Tapi quality education is also important. So uh, find a way to um, come and try to help uh, Bimbing, once you have achieved that, uh, once you dah berjaya, come back and, and help. I think Malaysians, we have one set of values that I think maybe be very hard to find elsewhere. We've got this sense of uh, togetherness, the sense of wanting to help. Um, so we are actually in a, in a wonderful country where we are able to uh, create all sorts of platforms for people to come and help us. Thank you, Encik Jufri, uh, for officiating this. Um, and, and without further ado, um, oh, before we start our, our main event with our uh, medical uh, sciences speakers, I believe all our speakers are ready to, to go. Uh, I just want to take a quick minute to thank all our partners. Uh, we've got Majlis Belia Malaysia, as you can see, uh, Encik Jufri and, and his team has helped us uh, uh, chat. Um, uh, we've got uh, Abim who supported us not just through ideas, but um, even the platform that you're seeing today, the Zoom meeting is, um, um, you know, sponsored and helped by ABIM, um, Gerakan Sepenjabi, uh, uh, Gerakan Malaysia Sepenjabi uh, is, um, is the big body that is helping um, the Virtual Career Day. Uh, we've got, we've gotten some good in the culture. So they have uh, provided some moderators to help us with the session. And uh, our media partner, Isisha Machar, who has also helped uh, push um, this um, event for all. So thank you to all our sponsors. Thank you, Encik Jufri. Thank you, um, um, Gurpreet Singh and GBSM. Um, and I would like to, to begin um, the Virtual Career Day um, now.